Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell button to receive important financial updates faster than anybody else. Friends, welcome to another video on your channel Profit Equities. If you like our content, please don't forget to hit the like button. Also subscribe to our channel, click on the bell button and choose all notifications to receive important financial updates from our channel at the earliest. In this video, we'll be talking about two lesser known fundamentally sound future multi-bagger stocks which have the potential to create huge wealth going forward. Please watch this video to know more. Now the first stock on the list is Vidi Dye Stuffs Manufacturing Limited which is available at Rs 87.65 and the face value for it is 1. The symbol for it is VIDHING. Now Vidi's speciality is Q1 sales witnessed a slight year-on-year -year decline on account of declining share of its trading business. In FY17, trading accounted for 45% of sales which is about 26% as per estimates. Higher absolute sales from manufacturing was driven by the de-bottlenecking exercise due to which production efficiency has improved to about 300 tons per month from 225 tons earlier. Due to the change in sales mix and sales of new high margin products, gross margin jumped to 36.4% which is up 615 basis points offsetting higher cost of materials sold which was up 36% year on year. Lower other expenses helped improve EBITDA margin to 20.3% in Q1. Finance cost has declined sequentially, aiding growth in profit before tax growth of 88% year on year and 46% quarter on quarter. Now, Joint Managing Director Mehir Manek reiterated its sales turnover guidance of Rs 500 crores in 2020, while its capacity expansion plan remains on track, improving product mix, lower trading business, and backward integration are expected to improve earnings. As a result, operating margin is expected to inch above 20%. In FY19, management is eyeing around Rs 250 crores in turnover with about 25% contribution from the trading business. It expects to retire its debt this year before new working capital related needs arise for the expanded facility. The expectation is for 48% compounded annual growth rate in EBITDA for the next three years based on top line growth and margin expansion. If this materializes, the stock may do well going forward. Now the second and final stock on the list is Bodal Chemicals Limited which is available at Rs 123.90 and the face value for it is 2. The symbol for it is B-O-D-A-L-C-H-E-M. Now Bodal Chemicals is an India based holding company and through its subsidiaries it is engaged in the manufacturing of dye stuffs, dye intermediates and basic chemicals. Now this company reported a 23% year on year increase in Q1 sales on a consolidated basis driven by improved volumes and sales realization of key dye intermediates. Production volume of dye intermediates which is 48% of sales increased to 21% in the quarter under review. Exports which constitutes 43% of sales grew 86% year on year and has been another strong lever for the company. Raw material prices remain elevated though the management said prices of late have stabilized, particularly that of caustic soda. Standalone operating profit adjusting for Forex improved 100 basis points year on year. New dye stuff capacity has started contributing to top line with around 10% capacity utilization and is expected to reach optimum level by next fiscal. New capacity is expected to aid net revenue adjusting for captive consumption of intermediates. Now this will be about 140 crores next fiscal. The management expects improved performance for Trion Chemicals, a joint venture for the water treatment chemical business. It plans to start operations by September end as some raw material prices have softened and expects it to break even next quarter. Subsidiary SPS processes has started contributing to profitability also. New vinyl cell phone capacity is still to turn operational pending regulatory permission for the usage of ethylene oxide. The positive stance on the company is driven by its core business prospects. It's easy to remain positive on the traction towards vertical integration and capacity expansion. Ongoing environmental restrictions in both China and India is also helping to maintain the favorable supply side dynamics for integrated players like Bodil Chemical. Now as is evident from the financials, the company is also not wildly expensive and is available at a very cheap price to earnings ratio of 11.15 when compared with the industry PE of 23.63 and the book value is also at a reasonable 2.16 which is also on the cheaper side. Now friends, please don't consider this to be a recommendation on our part. Please go ahead and do your own research. This and all of the content that you see on our channel is intended to be a piece of news. Thanks for watching and if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, please consider doing so.